Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a parallax effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're gonna be creating something that looks a little bit like this. It's a neat way of duplicating footage so that we get this sort of trippy upside down thing right here. Uh, it will be a little bit laggy probably just because that we're using two really big files here. But when you render it out, it'll look great. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. Let's get started. It's actually decently easy to do this. So what we're gonna do is start with ourselves with a just a blank sequence and then we're gonna drag in our footage. The key to this getting to look right is you need something with a sky and something that's relatively stable. The more stable it is, the better. I just found some drone footage, some royalty free drone footage. If you go to uh, pexelsvideos.com, they have some free stuff on there that you can download and just experiment with. So I found this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and do that whole flip effect. So the first thing we need to do is we need to reduce the scale of this downward. So Right now, we have it at 100%. If you have 4K footage, this actually works really well. If you edit 4K footage in a 1980 composition, you'll have a lot of zoom range. Otherwise, we're just going to have to lose a little bit of quality to get the effect right. So I'm going to bring it to right about 64%. 64, 65, doesn't, there's no exact number here. And I'm going to drop it down right there. Maybe just a touch smaller. And now we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And then I'm going to click on the footage right here. I'm going to hold the Alt key, and I'm going to drag up to create a duplicate of it. I'm then going to go to the rotation and type in 90 or negative 90. Each one will get you to, or my bad, 180. 180 or negative 180. Each one will get you uh, an upside down piece of footage and that's what we want. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top footage and we're gonna drag it up. And so what we wanna do is we wanna put it so that it's also flush against the edge up here. And now you'll see that there's this overlap, but you know, that doesn't look good. That doesn't make it look like a parallax effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the top footage. We're gonna click the opacity right here. And you'll see that we have this, we're creating a mask once we click that, the square right here. What we wanna do is we want to first invert that mask and then go down to this point where there is the end of the top footage overlapping the bottom footage right here. So we're gonna go to that point we're then going to click on this box, hold the shift key down, drag over. So you're at the edge, do the exact same thing again. Right there. And now what we want to do is we want to go into mask feather and we want to bring this up. We want to bring this up until we find the other line. The other line is going to be uh, a line that might be generated on the top side because of how far the feather goes. So we want to drag until we find that point or until it looks good. And you'll notice that right here, it, we haven't found that other line, but it actually looks pretty good right here. And we can kind of drag this around. You can see that would be where the line would be right up here. So we're actually pretty good with it being this far down. So what it's doing right here is we've actually blended the two together. And so instead of it being just sort of off with one another, now they look like they're one piece of footage together, which makes it have this, this sort of weird effect to it. And so what you can actually do is you have a couple of choices here. You can see that this actually looks kind of a little trippy all within itself right here. Let me bring this up so we can see it fully. And it looks kind of cool right here, but the problem is we have the edges that we're going to need to cut off, which is going to require a little bit of zoom. So you can either keep it so that they're both moving the same, or you can actually go and invert one. So if we go to the top, go to speed and duration, and click reverse speed, what we can do is we can make it look sort of like one is going backwards, while one is going forwards, it makes it have a, a weird effect. This really works if you have some fast moving footage as well. But we have the basics of this going. You see that this windmill is going this uh, farther away from us. This one's coming closer to us. And so now what we want to do is we want to highlight both of these, right click, and then click nest. And then we're going to create ourselves a nested sequence. We can just call it parallax, right like that. Or that's not how you spell it. But we can create a nested sequence. That's the, the key here. So once you have the nested sequence created, what you're then going to do is scale the entire thing up as a whole. And what we want to do is just scale it up to block off the edges right here. Now, you'll notice I scaled one up to 160%. These were shrunk down just a little bit. So we haven't lost a lot of quality at this point. And that's just because originally we shrunk them down and then zoomed them back in. So at this point, we've lost only a little bit of quality, but we still have lost some because of the transformation. So again, 4K footage would help in this situation. 
So now the next thing we're gonna do is if we want to create that sort of effect that I had in the beginning where it rotated, we can do that. Right now, it looks actually pretty neat. Let me just go over what we're at right here. It's looking pretty good right here. We have this really neat sort of uh, fun effect going on, but we can make it you know, even more fun by adding in that rotation. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on this effect. We wanna go and we want to change the scale and the rotation. Then we're just going to move forward and we're gonna rotate it however far we wanna rotate it. So let's say we wanna rotate it to right here. And then we're also gonna bring the scale up so that it fits, the black lines fit again. Now, this might take a little bit of manipulation because sometimes during this turn, it actually didn't happen there, so great job, great work. But um, sometimes on the edges, you'll get some black, even though it works here at the beginning uh, and at the end, you might get some black edges. So if that's the case, you just have to go in and adjust the scale on the front and the back side until it works. So for example, if I maybe went here and added just a little bit more rotation at some point right here, you see that even though it works at this point right here and at this point right here, there is still a point where there's a little bit of black in there. So we can just zoom this one in right here just a touch more. And then we can also sort of adjust this if we want, move this down and to the right, or you know, just sort of get it, get it framed up how we want, but we need to animate that if we wanna do that. Uh, we need to animate the position so that it, that moves as well. But now we have this sort of turning going, which makes it look, again, a little bit sort of weirder, uh, a little bit more fun. And so we can kind of do this with the effect. Uh, we, we're going to have to sort of sacrifice the zoom. We can redo the position. We can redo the scale. And we can just create this sort of uh, almost like Inception-like where things are turning and going over a, on top of one another. But that is really the basics of the parallax effect. It's not too hard, it's really only just uh, combining two things, adding a mask, and then rotating. And you can get this really neat Inception-like turn to it. And you can also um, do things like the Stranger Things, if you ever watch that, where they turn under the sky uh, or under the ground, you can do that with this as well, sort of like a reverse parallax where the bottom is something else. You can do that with this sort of effect as well. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go down to that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.